Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will implement the functionality of get car by ID in Spring Boot Enabler. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to create a new component in the Angular. So let's go to our admin module. And here in the components package, I'm going to create a new component. So let me open here the integrated terminal. So the command is ng g for generate c for component and name of the component that is a update hyphen car. Let's create this. And you can see component created successfully. Let me close the PowerShell and let's go to our admin routing module.ts. So here I'm going to register the update component. So let me add after that. And here I'm going to add the URL of our update component. That is a car slash colon ID. And we need to load here update car component. So let's save this. Go to our admin dashboard component.html. And here I'm going to add this button for this delete button and the caption of this button that is a update so here i'm going to add the router link in the router link we will add the url of the update car component and we need to add the router link that is a slash admin slash car and we need to pass here the car id so we will get car id from car dot id let's save this let me check what is the issue Okay, so here we need to add the comma. So let's save this, go to our UI. And you can see the button for the update. Let me change the color of this button. Let me remove this NZ danger from here. Let's save this. And you can see the color of the button. That is a primary. Let's click on this update button. And you can see it's navigating us to update car component so let's go to our spring boot application and let's create an api so you can see the admin service interface i'm going to create a method so the return type of this method that is a car dto and name of the method that is a get car by id and in the argument it will receive id that is a type of a long so let's go to our admin service impl and here i'm going to implement this method first of all i'm going to create here the object of our car so it will be a option car and we need to call here our car repository and the method that is a find by id and here we need to pass the car id after that we need to check in the if condition where option car is present then we need to return here option car dot get dot get car dto otherwise we need to return here null so let me replace with this so let's go to our admin controller and here i'm going to create a method to call method from our admin service so click and the response entity over here and here i'm going to add a dto and name of the method that is a get car by id and we need to get id from the url so here i'm going to add annotation that is a at the rate path variable the data type of the id that is a long and the variable name so here we need to call method from our admin service that is a get car by id and here we need to pass id so here i'm going to create an object of our car dto and we need to save the response of this method into this object and after that we need to return here response entity dot okay status and in the argument we need to pass here a dt object on the top i'm going to add annotation to access this api that is a at the rate get mapping and the url of this api that is a slash car slash id so let's run the application And you can see application started let's go to our angular project here i'm going to create a method that is a get car by id and in the argument it will receive an id that is a type of a number and here i'm going to add observable is a type of any and we need to return here this part http.get 
And here we need to pass basic URL of our backend application and the URL of our API and that is a slash API slash admin slash R. And after that, we need to pass here the ID. So here I'm going to add plus and the ID over here. So after that, we need to set token into the header. So here I'm going to call method that is a this dot get authorization header method to get token from our local storage and we need to set into the header. So let's save this. Go to our update car component.ts where I'm going to add constructor where we will inject our admin service. So it will be an admin service from our admin service. And after that, I'm going to add here activated route. On the top, I'm going to initialize a variable that is a car ID and we will get car ID from the URL. So here we need to call this dot activated route dot snapshot dot parents. Let's go to our admin of the module dot ts and here I'm going to copy this and we need to add into the codes. Now we are getting the ID from the URL. So here I'm going to add ng on it lifecycle hook. So after that, I'm going to create a method that is a get car by ID. So in this method, we need to call here our admin service and the method that is a get car by ID. And here we need to pass. So we need to call this variable with this dot car ID. Let's subscribe this method and we need to save the response in this variable that is a rest. And here I'm going to add console.log to print the result into our console. So we need to invoke this method. So here I'm going to copy this method and add in the lifecycle hook. So let's save this, go to our UI and let's check the implementation. Let's click on this update button and get car by ID. And you can see it's navigating us to update car component and you can see the car ID and you can see the console. We got a response from the backend with the ID one and you can see the name of the car. So let me clear the console, go to our dashboard component. And here I'm going to click on this update button to get this car record from our database so let's click and you can see we got a response with the id3 so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment i will attach the place link in the description you can check it out and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye